who is your biggest critic at this point? Mm. Am I allowed to list two? Sure. If they're neck and neck and you can't take one over the other. My two biggest critics, uh, definitely my girlfriend, Lauren Gibson. She critiques the fuck out of me. Okay. Um, but not in a bad way. Um, you know, she came into my life and it was perfect because she was already doing the entertainment thing. She's a, a published model. She's been in, um, you know, music videos and movies and, and, and all that. So when she came into my life, it was like perfect. Like, are you in entertainment? I'm in entertainment. But it's also where she was like, um, I'm not doing that video with you. Like, that's too nasty or that's not my style. And I'm like, well, damn, I'm going to do it anyway. But she has actually helped me kind of put out more content that can be mainstream. And I've definitely seen the benefits of it. Um, and we just kind of just, we complement each other like very well. It would be just times where like, just our mentals will click instantly. We'll be at the crib and, and we both like, just we'll be in separate rooms and we'll both walk to the kitchen to go grab the same thing. Like she might be going to grab the Henny bottle and I'm going to grab the Henny bottle just so we can pour each other a drink. It's like, dang, like you about to get drunk? Like we about to, you know, it's just like little stuff like that that just, you don't have with everybody. So I wouldn't trade none of that stuff for the world. And then my other critic is definitely my brother Corey, AKA Clutch. He, uh, he's always telling me what, you know, he, he feels or things that I should do. And it's not nothing bad. and. 90% of the time he'd be right, like, bro, you need to do this, man, instead of this, like, you really gonna kill him if you do this, and I'm just like, all right, I'm gonna get to it eventually, bro, like, you know, just just give me some time, and, um, you know, I just, I'm just excited that, you know, my little nigga home, um, we got a lot of big things working up, like I said, he's real big in the music, he's a rapper, he's an artist, he's funnier than me, he's just a, a, a silly dude, man, so, just having them two around, is it's, the game is about to be changed, for sure. When it comes to criticism, do you welcome that? I welcome it. I might not take what you tell me and, and you know, put it into play right away. But eventually, I'll be like, all right, look, what I'm doing ain't working. Let me just try to see if so-and-so. And if it works, I'm like, bro, I was going to do it anyway, bro. I didn't need you to tell me, bro. You just was rushing me. But I accept criticism. It's, yeah. Are you able to tell the difference between constructive, constructive criticism versus just plain hate? Yes. I actually did a, a Mo Bama parody. Like I'm real big with my parodies, and I had titled it "If If If Mute People Rapped." And because if you really listen to the song, like I don't know, like you can't really hear the words all like that. So you know, like, nah, 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 nah. so I did it, and it was this deaf dude who had commented on my page, like, "Hey, it ain't really nice that you did this. Like you really should, you know." Um, do it a different way and the whole time I'm like dang like how did you even hear it to know that that's what i did but maybe i put the words on the bottom of the screen but it wasn't no words so maybe he just seen the caption and took offense to it i don't know how it works like that i don't know how you hear something when you're deaf but i take it and i actually responded back to him like hey i appreciate it this is actually an old video that i just reposted but you know i i thank you i think he wanted me to sign language that's actually what his comment said he wanted me to sign language the video instead but that's like a lot of like learning sign language for a 60 second Instagram video, so. I see. Uh, when it comes to comments, uh, do you, are you the type that actually is active with the comments? You actually read them? You, you want to read them? You want to see them? Or, you know, if you just so happen to catch it, you catch it? No, I read them. I read them. I, uh, I definitely read them. Just because you, you don't want anything in the comments that's going to get people like just talking like crazy and sometimes somebody will say something i won't even have to check them i got enough supporters to where they'll be like hey look and they be on their ass like just just dogging them but i don't want all that 50 comment thread on my page because then it's just a whole bunch of comments of people trying to out comment somebody and like i just want my comments to be directed for the content let me know if you like it if you don't like it, just keep it moving. Cause it's funny to me though, because you'll see people like who don't ever comment, but then it's one video that they don't like. And then they'll say, Hey man, I like all your other stuff, man, but I really ain't like this one. But it's like, 
All right, well, you ain't tell me on the other one that you liked it. So why are you telling me on this one that you don't like it? And you telling me that you don't like it, you think I'm going to change what I'm doing and everybody else like it but you? You usually have about like two to three hate comments out of anywhere from like 500 to 1,000 comments. So it is what it is, man. My block list is strong, though. I got, oh, I got a strong block list, man. It's, it's by at least like, like 700, 1,000 people on my block list, man. Do you feel like that hurts your views? Because if you're blocking these people, they can't see it unless they have a, a, perhaps a different screen name or profile, like a secret profile to come back and watch your stuff or check your stuff out. Well, see, you know, DJ Small Eyes, there are 27,683 people born every day in the United States. So blocking those thousand people, it's not going to hurt because eventually those kids are going to get old enough to get an Instagram. And, you know, everybody every day has a birthday and they'll get older and get an Instagram, but they don't follow me. So they'll just be replaced, man. It's okay. I just made that number up. I'm not sure how many people are actually born every day. But if you want to look that up and, and let me know, I would like that. So I guess, how do you spot the difference between constructive criticism and a hate comment? It's What's all, the hint? It's, it's, how you, it's how you deliver it. If you say... Hey, I, you know, I work with special needs people, and I just kind of find this slightly offensive. Like your other work, I think you kind of stay towards that compared to, hey, this shit was whack as fuck, bro. Go get a motherfucking job. You lame. You corny as shit. That's how you can tell the difference, man.